Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to create a page, which displays detailed information about a selected record. We are going to filter the information on this page, using an URL parameter. In our previous tutorial, you learned how to display your database records, inside a repeat region on your page. We created an empty details page. We are going to create, a filtered database query for this page, as we'll need to display detailed information, about a specific product. Open the details page, and right click the folder, located in the server connect panel, that we've created in our previous tutorial. Then, create an action file. Add a name for this action file. We name it, product details. Now, open globals option, under the server action steps. Right click, get and add a variable. We will use this variable, in order to filter our database query. Add a name for this global variable. We name it, filter. Now, right click, steps, and select database connection, under the database actions menu. Click the, open existing connection button, and select the database connection that we've already created in our previous tutorial. Then, right-click the database connection step and add a database query from the database actions menu. Add a name for this database query. Click the query options button and select the database table that you want to use. Then, Add the table to the query. Select and add the database table columns, which you want to use. Open the filters tab. And then select the column, that you want to filter your query by. Add the selected database table column, to the filters list. Select the filter condition. We use, equals. And click the server data bindings icon, for the filter value. We will use the global variable, that we created earlier, so expand globals. And you will see the filter variable, under get. Select it and click the select button. Then, click the OK button. Save your action file. The next step is to create an URL parameter. We will bind this URL parameter value to the filter global variable, that we created earlier. Select URL in the HTML5 data bindings panel. And then click the add new button. Enter a name for the URL parameter. We enter ID, as we will filter the products, by their ID. Click the OK button. Now, let's create a server action executor. Click the Server Connect Action Executors in the HTML5 Data Bindings panel. And click the Add New button. Add a name for the executor. Select, Auto Run on DOM Ready. Then, select the Details Action File. Send method should be set to, Get. Now, we should assign the URL parameter value to our global filter variable. Select the filter variable. Under the available data bindings, expand URL. And select the parameter, named ID. Then click the assign value button. Click the OK button, when you are done setting up, the server connect action executor. Now, let's bind the data on the page. Expand the product details action executor. You will find the filtered query, inside the data element, in the executor tree. We do not need a repeat region on the details page, as we will only show a single product here. So just select the bindings, which you want to place on the page. Then, click the insert button. A notification, asking you if you want to insert a repeat region appears. Select cancel, as we do not need a repeat region now. Add as many data bindings, as you need. 
When you are done adding data bindings on the page, switch to the index page, where all of your products are listed. Here, we will add a dynamic link, which will redirect our users to the details page. Click inside the repeat region. Open the insert menu. And select hyperlink. We enter, view more, for the hyperlink text. Then, browse to the details page. Select it and click the OK button. And then, add the following after the link to the detail page, question mark, ID, equals, followed by the data binding, holding the product ID, that you want to send to the details page. Click the OK button, when you are done. Now, let's preview the results. Clicking on any of the view more buttons, redirects you to the details page, where you can see the details of the selected products. You can see that the data is filtered by the URL parameter, which we pass from the index page. That's how easy it is to create a details page, and filter it by an URL parameter.